been down here for a long time. And I found this. <laughs> what the fuck? YouTube. Oh, oh, Well, good morning, YouTube. I'm in Ecuador. I've been here for... I've been at this campsite for five days. Yeah, I just needed a, a rest. Uh, the weather's nice. It's, it's nice and cool at night, so it's pretty good. Now, this campsite is owned by a German guy, Hans. Uh, and if you ever have trouble with the border, he's messaged him a week before about visas, it's pretty good. So, and there's a racetrack just over there. So, uh, most of the overlanders have gone. Uh, there's only a few of us left, uh, as well as Adam. And, uh, and I can't pronounce the name again. Typical. Uh, woman from Netherlands. So, I'll just show you a quick wander around. But, campsite, yeah, it's pretty nice. There's lots of little flat areas to go. Uh, and you can also leave your trucks, cars here. Uh, if you go to the Glipicus Islands. So, which is pretty cool. That guy there, he's... He's gone over to Glipicus. And we're just wandering here. But this is the uh, barbecue area. Uh, if you want to have a barbecue and have a fire, fire, fire pit. So all overlanders can get drunk together. And, and there, there's a <laughs> There's a crazy Australian, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So that's our trucks in a minute. So we will go around and have a further look down at some of these. But you can also uh, see so they've left their truck there and they've gone off to the Glipicus or a uh, week or two, whatever it is. So you can actually leave your vehicle here. Uh, it will charge you to leave it here, but it's fine. And then there's some cabins where you can actually rent cabins as well. Oh, it's got wheels on it. <laughs> oh, that's different. And then obviously barbecue bits. There's another uh, German truck there that's uh, obviously gone off somewhere. And then the other, there's another section up here. Where you can park your vehicles long term I presume as you see there's another Swiss looks like he's been here a while doesn't it don't even know what number plate is that from but yeah there's uh, a few of the vehicles that have uh, scattered around <laughs> not even a defender two defenders so yeah these are you know three defenders no that's a trooper so people leave the vehicles here uh, which is pretty cool it certainly is pretty cool So if people, if people need to go home or whatever, 
or they are just going off to the Lippicus. This was the the German couple that I was talking to. They've gone home for a while as well. So I just cover them up so they don't get crap. So it's just pretty cool, uh, pretty cool that you can do that, you just leave them here and then they can, uh, that's a German one isn't it, you can leave them here and then uh, fly back, you know, fly home, <laughs> there's an awful lot of Dutch, <laughs> uh, German sorry, yeah 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, <laughs> so yeah, uh, most of them are all German. So that's pretty cool. And then that's the service, well, part of the service that he, th he provides as well. So if you need to, uh, I'll put on here. So if you need to leave it here and then uh, go off, do whatever you need to do, and then come back. But. But also, it is a restaurant. <laughs> so also, it is a, a restaurant. is all pretty pretty cool all pretty cool and they've got gluten free beer if you need it just a gluten free beer all right so here's your part of the restaurant Pussy cat, yeah, pussy cat. <laughs> yeah. But also, there is a an area where you can sit and eat and cook. So this is a, an area where you can cook yourself. And uh, they have a fridge, and they even have. Stickers, which is pretty cool. Look at that old one over there. Yeah, so I met, I've met these, met them, and then obviously there's Chris and me. I think that's that German truck over there, actually. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, that truck's over there still. Uh, I met him, Gerard, uh, Gerald, Gerald, whatever. Uh, we met on the Dalton Highway uh, just before Coldfoot. So we camped together at Coldfoot and we went up to the Dalton Highway and back. That was, that was pretty cool. Yeah, that one looks familiar. But yeah, it is pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool. It's a sort of overlander thing to do is we just put stickers there. I think there is some more stickers behind the bar. But yeah, so there's bikes as well, but as I say, it's all part of the... Uh, the restaurant and we'll just show you outside so now can you see I don't think you can see the uh, jack jack ship 
it was just a place. Yeah, there might be a gap in the fence there, but. This is the racetrack. Let's hang about and see if all comes round. But it's at the side of a lake. And there you go. And a mountain there. This is probably volcanoes because they're all volcanoes around here. The bikes will go in the other way for some reason. Pretty cool. That is the name of the place, is uh, Bingya Summer's Wine. That is pretty cool. And he speaks German, English, Spanish. So he's very well. And obviously different flags. But yeah. So you can just come to the restaurant if, well, if you want, or you can just come to the whole lot. Oh. Right, so that's where I've been staying for a few days, chilling out, having a rest. And they do. Uh, as you do, it's a nice little place. So I'm going to go and get some gluten free beer. See in a bit. I've got all the beer that they've got, <laughs> which is eight bottles. We shall do. Yeah, keep me going. But yeah, this is, uh, I'll put a name up. Travelling with Australia in a minute. Adam. Adam, I can't remember her name. Terrible with names. And then good old Clarky boy. But in a couple of days, she's flying back to the Netherlands. Uh, but in a couple of days, uh, we'll meet up again before the fly out and then me and Adam might hang about for a few days before I head south and keep him cheered up because his lady friend's going back so right we shall see you in a bit and I'm going to enjoy that beer later on So this is, uh, I have no idea, I'm not even going to pronounce, trying to pronounce it, but this is Ecuador. And I've come here to get my hair cut. <laughs>
Good morning, YouTube. Well, I've come across a track, try to find somewhere to sleep for the night. So, that's where I am. I've come along this track, and here you look. It is proper, proper dense jungle. <laughs> really, really dense. Ain't seen any bears or anything. But it is quite a way out. There was a motorbike and a 4x4 four four that's passed since. You can see there how dense it is. That's passed uh, this morning. But, so, this bit of clearing, uh, I was just driving along. I would try to find somewhere else, which is further up there. Uh, and nobody's used it since 2016 and it's really really overgrown and it's just not not feasible for an overland uh, for a spot an overland but I'll put this one on but yeah and then so I'm driving along and I notice oh somewhere to turn around and then I notice this <laughs> what the fuck we're in the middle of the bloody jungle no idea what it is It looks like shoots for something. And there's some bats. <sighs> you can see there, look. So I don't know what they are at all. But I'm just looking out for because this is, as you see proper proper jungle so you've got to watch where you walk you've got to watch what you touch and yeah so it looks like chimney But under some charcoal or something. So very weird. We landed down there on a broken panel. But yeah, pretty much. I'm getting queasy now standing up here. So, I don't know. Don't know what it is. Cool. Yeah, I'll take some pictures of Instagram and uh, skedaddle. Go to a big supermarket. First one in uh, Ecuador and see what gluten free stuff they've got. Hey, see you in a bit. 